All of these things then are relating to love. It is easy to manifest love in so many ways, but making it really practical tends to be fairly difficult for people. One of your questions relates very much to climate change. And is it too late for planet Earth? And can things uh, be uh, reversed? Do you see how love figures into that? That so much of the difficulties on your planet about agreement amongst countries has so much to do with the opposite, the competition, the opportunity to do better than, the manifestation of fear about this, all of the energies that could be shifted so much by love for your planet, love for each other, love for the generations that will come after you, and in many ways, love for who you are as you evolve to the point that you can make changes to your planet. The pressing issue is about asking the right question. The guides and helpers have a nearly singular focus about this. Because they recognize that the choice towards love must always be that which is up to you. You cannot be that uh, which is forced into it one way or another because that's only going to generate more karma. It can be asked, what more than anything else retards your progress? So what aspects of consciousness can be that which is standing in your way? The ripple effect that is set into motion, which has been done before. It is so much justification for war, for holding back, for doing it to others in a way that is the opposite of the forgiving, the loving, the caring. Thus there will be punishment, thus there will be hardship, and there will be those who will be saying uh, that that is justified because of the damage that was done and the balance that must be struck all the way down into the very personal, the way in which you find yourself karmically thrust into similar situations over and over. How you're going to deal with your life, not just in this lifetime, but in the next intermissive period, in the next lifetime, and in relationship to what you're going to teach your children and what you're going to do to change things on your planet. The requirement shows up on the guides and helpers, on our energy, on all of the beings that share this planet with you, to evoke within you a strength of love which has the capacity to dissolve karma. That balancing karma simply by doing the very best you can to help those you have wronged or various countries to balance out where they have done wrong and so on will be much, much too slow. It will take too many lifetimes and the ultimate changes that would be necessary for your survival will never get in uh, action in time for that. The commitment to love, the willingness to love others regardless of their history with you. For many individuals, this is going to be new. They are going to struggle with this. But for many others, it is simply crystallizing that which has already been present. To share spiritual wisdom or understanding about this in a personal way for you, through the things that seem to light your heart up, will draw you to focus on this. What is the nature of your willingness to help others? Is it purely karmic balancing or isn't there something intrinsic about that sense of sharing, of service, of love, of caring for others? This means not only the focus of that love, the energetic of the direction, where it is going to go, but also its intensity. 
how strong it is, and how you are to feel that within your own being. Ultimately, it is not local. It is not contained within you. It is that which is perhaps birthed or sparked, but goes beyond your own level of being. It is one of your greatest gifts, how you can use it, know it, increase it, etc., etc.